Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me today wanting to know how to do interlocking rings. And I've done them before. I've made a video before, but I, I thought I'd go do one because there's two ways. You, well, there's probably more than two ways, but there are two ways that I would do it. So to draw these circles, I would just hold down the control button and get an even circle. Control D and make a duplicate of that. And then hold down your shift key and it'll bring it in equally. That might be a little thick, but for the video it's okay. Then control D, start moving it to the side, but then hold down your control button, it'll move it equally. Hit control D again, and you've got three equal circles. Now you need to select that first circle, go up to arrange and combine, R, control L. So this time I'm gonna hit control L. And what this is doing, and you'll see in just a second, if you just smart fill this in, you're only going to get to that circle. But since they're combined, and I'm going to do this for a laser engraver, we're going to make this one a gray. We're going to make this one a black. And we're going to make this one that same gray. Now take all your items and left click no fill. You can also do that in the pen tool. So this is the second way to do it. I'm showing you right now. I should have made a copy of those, but we'll just make three more circles. Now this is kind of where it gets a little bit tricky, but if you pay it, uh, just do it in these orders, take that circle and hit the plus sign on your keyboard. And so what you've done, you made a copy of that one. Now take your, a rectangle and just cover that intersection. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Now take that black circle and go up to arrange, or I'm sorry, go to effects, power clip, place inside frame. And now what you have, you have another circle in that frame. Now take your circle, go up to arrange and order and put back in lay, back of layer and look what it did. Now you need to take your power clip and put no outline. Now we're going to do the same thing again. We're making we're going to make another copy of this. So can hit your plus sign. And you could do it down here. And I guess we will maybe make it better. Draw you a circle or a rectangle. Click on your black again. Go up to effects, power clip, place inside frame, and now you have another copy. And that's really already done because now it's it did the other angle. And then just left click your power clip. And you have interlocking circles. Now that's one way to do it. The other way would be to, and see your power clip frames are still there but they, they should not show up in anything. Let's just do a yellow box trick. Unless you were going to cut this out. Whoop. And then put it in the back of the page. So the power clip frames are not really there. They are, but they're not, they will not hurt you. So anyway, we're going to make three more circles. Control D, hold down the shift key. This time we don't have to combine them. We're going to use the way I would probably do them first. Control D, start moving your object, but then hold down your control button. Then hit duplicate again. Now we're just going to use the virtual segment delete key. And you just need to think, well, I want to get rid of these lines and then continue down here and get rid of these lines. And then on the other order, you can do it any way you want. You could dilute these, but you can't go down this circle. You need to go down this circle can't really mess up because you can always start over and then you can take your smart fill tool fill that one in with black let's uh, grab the smart tool to Ken and let's make it gray and I don't want to show you something if you select all this and group it it should have made it all gray let's see what it does there you go and then um, 
let's mark fill the other one in a black. I really should have done the middle black. But there you go, you've got interlocking circles. And I would always select them all and go left click, no, no outline. Now we did that a little bit opposite because we got the, it doesn't really matter, the, it'd be better to have this one underneath and that one over kind of crisscrossing. But you get the idea like we did here. This one goes over and under, this one goes under and over. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.